Hey y'all, it is your girl Chastity J and I'm back with a quick message from God. Y'all, God really wants us to start seeking him for our identity versus seeking this world, seeking um, our partners, seeking our identity and other things. Because what tends to happen is we start pursuing our partners or our friends' dreams and their purpose because we don't have a sense of identity for ourselves. And so when we are trying to find ourselves in this crazy old world, we latch on to promises for other folks versus seeking God for promises for ourselves and seeking God for our own identity. So it's so important and imperative this day and age, like this time, right now, not tomorrow, but right now, for you to lean on to God to find your identity. Um, because I know I've been there before where I was looking for my identity in my partner or looking for my identity in friends and how people made me feel or even in the latest trends and fads that's going on in this world, especially with our generation, everything's all over the internet. You know, we look at Fashion Nova for um, outfit ideas or their, um, their social media page to change our identity and upgrade ourselves as what we think we're doing trust me <laughs> Molly I only share my experiences I only share things to y'all that I've experienced or I've done or I've gone through so that's why God uses my testimonies um, to share and enlighten y'all and encourage y'all baby we gotta we gotta change that but yeah you know see God for your identity versus looking for your identity in things, people, places, um, you know, other things. Because what tends to happen is we get lost in the sauce, as they say. We get lost in this world. And then as you're just continuously going, it can be years from now. And, it, you know, you wake up one day and you realize, I don't even know who I am. I don't even know what I like. I don't even know what brings me joy. Because you don't have a identity of your own. Or if you have to, like, you can do this uh, little quick little activity. Self-reflect especially if you're in a relationship, who are you? If you're a mother or a father, who are you? What do you enjoy? What is your purpose? Like, what has God told you your purpose is or had you, you know, led you to do that is fulfilling you in a spiritual way beyond just physical fulfillment? Like, what is your purpose? Like, what do you enjoy doing? Um, what is your identity? Try to honestly figure out and answer those questions. Like, what do I like to do outside of my partner? Because most of the time when you're in a relationship, and I know, um, I know, um, I would honestly, like when I would become single when dating, I would try to see what is it that Chastity enjoys doing. And most of the time, it would be, oh, when me and my partner did this, when me and him went, you know, bowling or what, you know, just those things. I could not honestly say who I was. I would lose my identity in the guys that I was dating. And it happens all the time, y'all. So don't feel shamed or anything because I'm sitting here telling you. It used to happen to me quite often. And the best way for me to change that was, of course, seeking God and sitting with God and trying to discover my identity and who did he create me to be. And then also um, keeping myself busy. Like when it comes to finding my purpose, like when I found my purpose, understanding what my purpose was and how God wanted to use me um, for purpose in purpose. And so that is just some encouragement I want to share with y'all because we all know that God created us in his image. Um, that's in Genesis, I believe, uh, chapter 1, verse 27. Like God created us all in his image um, and he created us for purpose, not just for us. And so you need to sit with him and see why did he create you? Like, what was uh, the image that he created you for? Like, how did he want to see you? How does he see you? Like, we be doing stuff trying to be rebellious or just because of the trends. And a 
lot of time it's like a lack of identity. So you need to find your identity and go sit with God. And then also, you know, God already had us created in um, our purpose just created before we were formed in our mother's womb and we know that if you read jeremiah chapter one like it talks about that that god already had a purpose for you and had you in had a purpose uh, ordained over your life before you were even thought of so you need to go sit with him and discover what is your purpose what is your purpose and that will help you with identifying who you are who chastity is, not who everybody expects chastity to be, not who everybody wants chastity to be. Like me being a Christian enthusiast or influencer or whatever, that is me being my true authentic self, me being in purpose of who God created me to be. Like I share my, my testimonies, my shortcomings with y'all all the time because I'm just being my true authentic self and letting God use me for purpose by being in purpose. So I just want y'all to take some time out and just truly try and identify who you are and go and partner with God so that he can show you who you are because you should know whose you are which is his but he wants to show you who you are as far as your identity as far as your purpose he wants you to be living a fulfilled life but living a fulfilled life in the lens that he created you to live and be so yeah yeah I'll just go sit with God because it's so crazy I was just you know God put this in my spirit as I was scrolling on social media and I could look I'm very very intuitive and prophetic so I could look at certain people and just see that they have no identity they lack identity and some things that they're doing is because their friends are doing it their partner is doing it you know they may be this silly you know goofy person that love comic books but they're not going to be them true selves because it may not be accepted by the group of folks that they hang out with and they may be hindering their own uh, purpose god may be like girl i put that in you or god I put that in you because that's something that i want you to do by um implementing that those talents and those desires and those gifts and those things you love um for purpose um for me and my kingdom so go sit with god y'all all right y'all